in all our ways mean? But firstly, we have to find out what is the definition first of acknowledge. In the dictionary, the word acknowledge or acknowledgement means to first to accept or to admit the existence or truth. Secondly, to express our display of gratitude and appreciation. And thirdly, to show that one has noticed or recognized someone or something by making a gesture or a greeting. So these are the results that came up when you search up the definition of acknowledge or acknowledgement. In our daily lives, I'm sure we have all experienced um, the last definition, which is to uh, give acknowledgement to someone by uh, making a gesture or a greeting. Right, mga kapiti, whenever we see someone familiar on the street, may it be our friend, our church mate, <coughs> or our schoolmate, we're going to greet them. We're going to wave at them. We're going to smile, we're going to nod at them. Any sort of gesture to show that we recognize them and that we saw them. Amen? Am I right? Praise Is that God. What you do? And so, yet despite the smiles and the nods that we give to the people that we are familiar with, we rarely ever actually approach them. We rarely actually ever talk to this person whenever we see them on the street. It's like sending a message that we recognize them, but we, we don't want to talk to them. Right. Unfortunately, this is the sort of attitude that we also apply with our relationship with the Lord. We acknowledge Him as our God, but we don't actually take the time to really talk to Him. Or sometimes the praises that we do to the Lord is just a front that we show in front of other people, but it's not genuine. And that is something that as Christians, we should remove to ourselves this sort of attitude. We should always acknowledge the Lord. Like what it said in the song, Jesus at the center of it all. We should always um, consider the Lord in every single decision that we make. We always have to put God first before our own will. Amen? Amen. So, um, the example that I gave earlier, this is not the way how you should acknowledge the Lord. It's merely a way of letting Him know that we notice Him. But it's not, we're not actually communicating with the Lord. So, it's just like praying without really meaning. Really meaning or being genuine about uh, our prayer. And so, acknowledging God in all our ways should be more like the first two examples, which is to accept His existence and to be grateful to the Lord every single day of our lives. We should be grateful every single day. All of us should be grateful right now because we are all gathered here today to give glory to the Amen. Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. That we all arrive here safely, that we're all intact, that we're all complete, that um, all of us were able to arrive here safely. Amen. Amen. And so sometimes we have this attitude um, as Christians where we are eager to know what uh, eager to know God's guidance or to have God's guidance in one specific thing. For example, we want to have God's guidance in our work, but we don't want to have God's guidance in our marriage life or right. vice versa. But it says here in the verse that we always have to acknowledge God in all our ways. All. That Amen. It just mean one thing. It means everything that we do in our lives, whether it may be in church, outside of church, at school, at work, may it be at home, in the way that we think, in the things that we do, in the, in the things that we wear, everything that we do, from top to bottom, from morning until night, we always have to consider the Lord. We always have to put Him first as our priority. Amen. Um, so for example, um, perhaps we seek God's guidance in our work or at school but we don't want to seek his guidance in other things just in those things that is not right it says here at the verse that we always have to acknowledge him in every single thing that we do this is because we are inclined to want god's guidance only when it's convenient for us uh -huh. and that's a sort of attitude as a christian that we should remove to ourselves 
It's not about our convenience that we should be thinking about, but we should be putting first the priority. Uh, our priority first should be God's will and God's amen. will for us. Amen. Right. Amen. And so, all our selfish motives, all our own self desires, we should put it away and think first of the things that God wants for us, because God knows what's best for us. Amen. 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 And so, um. The motive that we should always have is uh, to always please God in everything that we do. Right. Before we do something, let's always think first, am I glorifying God by doing this? Am I glorifying God if I do this or do that? We should always think first because, first of all, we are Christians. Amen? Amen. And so we should always think, uh, we, shouldn't we shouldn't only just be Christians inside the church. We should right. always be Christians when we go out, when we're at school, when we're at work, when we're with other people besides our church mates. We should always remember first and foremost that we are a child of God. Amen. Amen. And so that in everything that we do, we should always have His guidance. He should always be the first thing that people see in us. When people look at you, uh, they should be able to tell that, oh, she's a child of God. Amen. Amen. Praise He's God. A child of yes. God. Amen. Amen. Praise and God. So in our natural lives, um, we, um, we, as we grow up, as we grow older, and as we grow more mature, our parents here on earth, like Sister Chat and Brother Jess, one day we're going to grow more independent. I'm right. going to one day have my own house, have my own job. Hallelujah. I will, able, I will be separated from my parents. But however, this is different when we're talking about spiritual maturity. When we talk about spiritual maturity, the more that we mature in our faith, the more dependent we get on the Lord. Amen? Amen. And so this verse describes the move between independence to dependence to the Lord when it tells us, in all your ways acknowledge Him. And so here in this verse, Solomon encourages us to exchange a self-absorbed focus for a steady focus on God. And Amen. so we should exchange our limited knowledge by acknowledging God's wisdom. And so acknowledging God is more than just um, acknowledging that uh, He's our God. We have Amen. to do more than that. It is a daily submission to Him, not just when it's Sunday or midweek, or prayer meeting every single day, it's a daily submission to Him. Amen. Amen. So this submission applies to all our ways, whether, wherever we may be, even outside of church. Acknowledging God doesn't just mean turning to Him during the times of trials or crisis, or when, whenever there's a service. But this is just, um, in all the ways that we do, whether it may be public or private, we always have to acknowledge God. Amen. And so in this moment right now, um, as we go into our um, self-prayers, let's acknowledge God at this moment right now, His presence. And let's talk to the Lord, truly talk to the Lord. And let's um, speak all that we want to say to Him, because God hears you. Amen. Amen. 